Слава Украине! Слава! 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 Hello comrades and welcome to a Man of War Assault Squad 2 showcase video for the Warway mod. Um, I've only done one other uh, kind of talking, explaining video or show off of this mod. Um, and essentially it started as a uh, bringing Blue Dawn and Rise of Nationality uh, together as one mod and just letting it be multiplayer, but uh, it has expanded so much beyond that and the work done by Coitello, Portiu, Short, Wurtz, and uh, Redmanov and several other guys uh, It's just been amazing. We, it's just it's this mod really has expanded beyond what it originally was and so much more than I thought uh, either Blue Dawn or Rise of Nationality would be and uh, Yeah, it's just I uh, can't I just can't think, I can't thank enough the uh, work that Coitello and Porti have done to just bring this mod back to life and just doing so much with it. And to everyone else that has helped out, you guys are all just amazing. So, getting on to it. Um, there's been a whole string of updates, a bunch of factions reworked and um, kind of fixed and so forth, and uh, there's still a lot more to go, but uh, the work done is just it's ridiculous but uh the most recent update has included mexico uh these skins were done by uh, redmanov and they are in his mod as well if you are looking to uh play with them but uh yeah anyway uh here we have the mexican police looking real badass with the police emblem right there just mm. i don't know why i know the flat blue is just a terrible idea for a uniform pattern but like for some reason it's just it looks so good uh so yeah it's the police uh here we have the army um with the little flag on their chest right there with the tv uh, or plate carrier i should say and uh yeah I, li I like this green the green really just mm, looks good uh let's see there are two other uh, textures for this. Uh, there's desert and there's winter, but honestly, they don't look that good. I just think this, the standard green is, is good enough as it is. Uh, here we have a special forces unit of some kind. Some elite tactical operators. Got a cool little patch right there. Looking real nice. Uh, I think this is the... Um, I think the National Guard recently changed... Um, or something and they wear this kind of gray white I saw them when I went down to Mexico I've seen quite a few checkpoints and patrols around there um, they were these guys uh, yeah like the Nacional or something or Guardia I don't know it's it's really cool though it's, it's nice I like them uh, now a lot of people have asked for the UN faction they've asked for like you know where are UN skins and equipment and so forth and uh, these are the ones that I did a while back and I know they, they're not accurate to what's used in real life, or at least they don't look that accurate. The um, thing is, I don't really care. They, they look, I like them. I love the way they turned out, I think. Uh, but yeah, if any of you want a UN skins and factions, um, yeah, it's in this mod. Uh, several more helmets and a few other skins. It's not just the Pakistanis, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, for those that are asking or wondering uh, if you need UN stuff, you can come get it from this mod. And uh, something to note, uh, all these factions you see and the ones that you don't see, they are all multiplayer. They are, yeah, they're all multiplayer. So you will play these factions. It's not just single player editor. It's, yep. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the cartel. And uh, this was uh, done by Coitello. And honestly, they look fucking awesome. Like, these are all new um, textures and so forth. Like, look at this. You got face tattoos you got a uh, really cool hoodie thing just 
Raiders, El Chapo. Uh, and it's just so awesome. Uh, so these guys are the militia slash bangers. They're just low quality kind of grunt units as it were. You got the uh, slightly better equipped kind of foot soldiers uh, still. And then you got these elites. Look at that. CDS or COS. I don't know. But they look awesome. And I'm fairly certain... No, no, that is Mexican. I was about to say, I think that's the Italian. Because it's... I think Italian's red, white, green, not green, white, red. I could be mixing it up. Anyway, we now have the cartel. And they just look awesome. Alright, moving on to a faction that we have all seen before. Actually, no. Never mind. Uh, it's going to be the one back there. But what you see here is the K4 uh, forces from the 1990s. Uh, we got the Spanish here. These are also done by Coitello. Looking real good. That Woodland BDU is just... The army should have never gotten rid of it. Out of all the mistakes they've made, they got rid of BDU. They don't care how impractical it is. Uh, we have the French uh, forces. Looking pretty good. Fairly standard. And again, these are based off the 1990s. They're not supposed to be modern-day French, so if any of you have a issue with that or, or, or wondering why, that's that's what it is. Here we got uh, one of my favorites, the Italians. And uh, this black feather is not just for the fun or the looks. It, it was actually used. We were looking at photos um, in Discord. And, uh, yep, the Italians just wanted to add a little drip to their... Uh, to their uniform something to really set them apart and i love it uh really nice um here we got the british looking pretty good fairly standard uh yep and so the faction that we have seen before is russia but we did uh, updated 2022 russia obviously uh we've added tape um the what, St. George kind of striping to some of the units. Um, I know the uh, EMR uniform that we're using currently is a little too bright. I'll plan on fixing that and changing it to a darker variant that we saw in the early days of the war. But anyway, here we got the uh, Wagner troops. Looking real nice. It's got that uh, multicam primary for their forces. Um, and I haven't seen the Wagner troops use a lot of tape, so uh, that's why they don't have it. Uh, but again, really nice, just good. Uh, here we do the uh, MPs, and uh, got the special Among Us soldier in the back right there. Uh, but yeah, so for the MPs, I didn't really do much. I just slapped on the Z patch. Actually, no, I guess the Z patch didn't appear on this. But yeah, I, I added tape, and uh, yeah, that's essentially all I did. Uh, Looks good. I think it uh, turned out nice. And then here we got the uh, TikTok Brigade, or Chechens. And these goofballs, uh, they're, they're, they're decked out in some good good kit. Now, if only they could fight as good as they look, you know. Pretty nice. It's a good little addition. Uh, there are some more changes to the Russian faction, but uh, not enough that I think you guys really needed to see, but... Um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, here we got the Ukrainian Armed Forces of 2022. Uh, these skins were done by me, and, uh, well, a few of them were. The standard regular army was done by me. Um, but yeah, here we go. And, uh, actually something that I want to mention is that I haven't seen it in any other mod, and maybe I'm just missing it, but, like, I don't even think, um... How was it? Cold War doesn't even have this, where the Javelin does top-down attack like that. Uh, I just, I haven't seen it. They've all fired the Javelin like a regular RPG. So however Mike or whoever originally did that, uh, great work. I think it was Viper who did that, but uh, yeah, I just I found that kind of kind of interesting. The fact that it seems to be only our mod so far, and it's awesome. Uh, but yeah, anyway, continuing, um, the other thing that I really like with these skins, not just because of bias, but I, I love the MM14 camo, but also the tape. I like how the tape turned out. It just, it looks good. And, uh, it, 
this uh, helmet here actually I had to retexture because uh, the other one just looks so shiny and like almost like there was like shrink wrap around it where it was like all reflective and weird. So it, it I change it up and it looks a lot better now I think. Mm, just beautiful. These are the standard ground forces. And uh, here's another one that I did. Uh, they're not entirely accurate, but they're a lot more dirty and grim looking. Uh, they're the Marines that we saw primarily in Mariupol. Uh, they are, of course, all across the battlefront in Ukraine. But uh, yeah, I pr primarily tried to focus on what the ones from Mariupol looked like. And uh, I think they turned out great. They look good. And of course, uh, I got the other patch there on the side too. It's like a Viking boat kind of aesthetic, and I'll, I'll love it. But yeah, it's the Marine troops. Uh, here we got the uh, Territorial Defense Forces. They got the blue uh, tape. Now, as you all know, like seeing the videos, uh, blue was very much Territorial Defenders, and then green was kind of the Northern Forces, and then the yellow was just kind of all across. And now it's all kind of mixed matched at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice to see this kind of variation. I did do the border guard with green, but I can't remember where I put the skin, <laughs> or I might have lost it. But hopefully, I'll be adding those in. So looking real nice. And then here we got the uh, Georgian Legion, and of course we are going to do the Belarusians and uh, the other the International Legion is the one I want to do as well. But yeah, these guys looking good. Uh, I think the skin is just the original, um, but like obviously we've updated their gear and kit and so forth. So pretty cool. And then here we have one done by Koitello. Uh, it is the, I think, um, the Russian Volunteer Army. And we saw those guys in uh, Bilharad and um, some other sections of the line. Uh, looking real nice though. Got the large uh, sleeve thing there, patch or armband. Really nice. And uh, of course, I want to do the Freedom of Russia Legion. I think they're going to look real nice too. Um, yeah, it's so really awesome. And that's it for the updated Ukrainian Armed Forces. Now, uh, here we have the. Uh, oh god, what are they? They're like. The. the um, the tab is H-A-D, and I'm just blanking on what nation that is. Uh, but anyway, we got some tribals here. Looking real good. I think this comes from... Uh, I think the skins come from Inner War. I'm fairly certain, but I don't want to misquote. But yeah, these, these tribals just a really unique and kind of cool faction. Not straight up civilians, but at the same time not really military either. Well, it's, it's, it's cool. I like it. Uh, but you'll see where the problem is with the uh, pat with the flag here is uh, I I don't know which country that is I want to say Yemen but I can't say that with certainty but anyway here we have the Central Security Forces looking good they got a mix of BDU and Marpat or I, I'm fairly certain that's just Marpat I could be wrong I don't think Marpat has that much green on it I think it's mostly browns still very nice. Uh, here we have the police, and uh, this is kind of where I say Yemen, because I'm fairly certain this uniform is from the Yemen military, but I, again, I can't be certain. Uh, yeah, police is kind of a mixed bag of uniforms. Pretty nice, though. Yeah, a little corporal chevrons there, I think. Uh, here you got the standard armed forces. Uh, this is also another unique camo that I haven't seen before, and it it looks nice. I like it. I think it works. But yeah, uh, there's the armed forces. Again, I just I cannot for the life of me remember where that pa where that flag is from or which country it's tied to or rebel group. Um, and that is it. Uh, oh wait, no, we got one more. We got the nation of Lebanon. Uh, we got the Hezbollah. I'm fairly certain that's Hezbollah, right? Yeah, it is. I'm smart. I got this. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. Here we have the Lebanese army. Pretty nice. I know they use new uniforms now. A lot of countries have updated to a multi-cam style uh, uniform, which is kind of sad because it's not as much uniqueness, but still uh, pretty good. Pretty nice. 
I haven't played these guys in the multiplayer yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Here we got the Reservists, and they got a unique version of Woodland, or BDU. It's more tan dominant, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, got some Reservists here. Pretty cool. Now, that is all for uh, this update. Um, and honestly, something else... Um, these maps, there's a whole host of new uh, multiplayer maps, and uh, the, these maps that you see, they're all done by Coitello, and they're all multiplayer maps. This mod is multiplayer focused, so uh, this isn't just single player. It's not just editor. The it it is all um, yeah, so it's, it's all multiplayer, and we get some of the most. I mean, you guys have already seen the videos, but you get some of the most unique battles out of this stuff, and it's just. It's so awesome, because it, it really does, it feels like a single player mission kind of editor style map, but it's it's multiplayer. And uh, something else that's very unique with Coitella, or Porto use maps, something that very few mods do, is using the roofs here. And I'll, uh, actually I'll show you, so I'm gonna go to here, slap down a good old cartel banger, uh, let's see, okay, look at this. A lot of people don't seem to use this feature, but Coitella or <laughs> getting these two mixed up constantly. Eh. Uh, but yeah, Portiu does this for a lot of his maps, where you can get these unique kind of like ambushes set up, you know, and do shit like that. It's just so awesome. I mean, again, you've seen the multiplayer videos, but it, it's just something I really want to point out here because it just it looks great. You just get this lone dude that can hold down this street corner. When A is not going retarded, of course, but, uh, yeah. It's just so awesome. We got so much to, like, fight over, and, uh, this is one of the 3v3 maps. Uh, it's also new, so. It's just a great use of the assets, and just, it, it just looks so awesome. Honestly, I just, I can't get over that. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, come join us on the Discord, join us for multiplayer matches. It's it really is a lot of fun. There's really awesome dudes in the Discord. So uh yeah, uh I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all soon. Oh, last thing, uh the porting weapons and stuff, that video is coming, same with vehicles. I know it's it's several days in between when I get videos and even months, uh, for tutorial videos, but uh I am working on it. Uh I did not forget, so uh yeah. In the meantime, enjoy!